entering the MDET course and then going through OCS was a challenge to me. I was uh, appointed the course IC um, during the MDET course and I had to take charge of uh, 40 other people under my purview. And it was a challenge to me at the time because um, we had to make tough decisions during then. It was indeed difficult for me because I didn't have prior leadership role even uh, during JC or secondary school days. So I didn't have the knowledge of um, what I should decide on actually. So as a leader, I feel that um, you have to make tough decisions at the right time. When I was training for my IPPT goal, definitely my peers did support me. We actually planned our own training schedules and then we worked out during the, our own free time. That was how I eventually managed to get the goal for IPPT. I feel that if I cannot overcome this challenge, I'm supposed to actually motivate others in the future. And that's where I feel even more motivated. I studied uh, mechanical engineering. That was where I took uh, maritime modules. From there, I realized that I have an interest in the maritime engineering domain because of two things. I like how complicated the ship is, like the amount of systems they have. And the other is because Singapore is a maritime uh, hub and the sea is of vital importance to Singapore. Becoming a naval engineer, along the way there will be a lot of obstacles that you'll face, like spare shortage. You're supposed to find ways and tools to help your team to, to be more efficient in their work. As an engineer, you're actually in charge of the defence of the country. You have a team under you, you're supposed to rectify defects, uh, come up with the root cause to why the defects happened in the first place, because of this, there's a lot of sacrifices that you need to make, there's a lot of pressure on you, and they demand the best from you. I'm actually very thankful that my family has always been there to encourage me and be supportive of my actions. I would say I'd like to thank my parents, because ultimately, they were the ones that supported me uh, throughout this journey. We are the enablers for the um, operators or even the combatants. It's the whole integration of these um, engineers and also our crew and also operators which makes us more functional and also to achieve mission success for the RSF. One thing that I would really work on would be to actually uh, strive harder to see how far can I actually go, how far can we actually move forward and bring Singapore to greater heights in terms of defence.